Hi, this is Nate with UMI Performance. Today we're going to go over installing our race bump steer kit. Uh, the race bump steer kit is available for second, third, fourth gen F bodies, A bodies, and G bodies. Uh, to begin, we'll of course take the wheel off the car. We'll disassemble the, out, the factory outer tie rod and the sleeve. So we, you will reuse or buy new inner tie rod. Once this is removed, remove the spindle from the car and we will go over drilling out the factory uh, tie rod taper to use a 5 8 bolt instead of the tapered stud. Okay, to, to position our spindle in our drill press, one, we need a, a fairly large vise, a uh, couple clamps, and then I'm going to use a, this is a 15 30 seconds drill bit. Basically measure the, the hole in your current spindle get a drill bit very close to the same size. This one's two thou under the, the hole and we'll use it as basically as a locator. So we'll get the spindle located, slide the drill bit down through, and then we'll actually, we'll take this drill bit out, switch it out for a 5 8 drill to do our final drilling. Okay, next we'll go over our final assembly of the race bump steer kit. So once you have your spindle on the car, You'll insert the 5 8 bolt down through the hole that you drilled in the spindle. Once that is installed, you'll use the supplied spacers of uh, varying thicknesses. And what you want to do is space the tie rod so that it is parallel to the lower A-arm. That'll get you about 90% close on your bump steer to get the final 10%. It's recommended to use a, an actual bump steer gauge with dial indicators to, to finalize and dial in your bump steer. So once you have your spacers installed, slide the rod end on, and it's important to put a 3 16 or quarter inch spacer underneath the rod end so that you have full misalignment, and then install the 5 8 18 lock nut.